Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is about loyalty and devotion and maybe you're questioning that within that relationship. Uh, you might be dealing with some kind of third party involvement or third party situation coming in. So may maybe there's somebody that's interfering in your relationship or maybe there's been a, a third party or a straying from that relationship. Uh, it seems like, you know, uh, they, that might have been the issue that there was a third party involvement but there was reconciliation and forgiveness after this and it seems like that third party has flown away as well so it seems like you've gotten back together with this person forgiving them maybe you're now questioning loyalty and devotion of this particular person now you felt that you know you were very connected to this person because there's marriage of the minds over there so you're all quite stable uh, very much in love and you're very connected with this person and you used to have a lot of fun together it seems and then this kind of issue has happened it's left you feeling very disappointed and very very angry about whatever's been going on so maybe that's why you're questioning the loyalty and devotion of this particular person within that relationship uh, and also you know you're a bit indecisive about what to do so you're trying to think about what you should be doing and how you should be approaching this particular situation so those are the energies for those two weeks so i'm just going to be using the uh, romantic tarot for main read Okay, so what's going on with you? So you've got that um, three, uh, Ten of Swords over here. So it looks like you're bringing this relationship to an end. Uh, it seems like you're not interested in, in it anymore. You can see this woman's got her face turned away. And even though this man is begging her uh, for some attention, she's not giving it to him. It seems like whatever happened, if it was a third party situation, maybe you just can't come to terms with it and you have decided that you don't want to have anything more to do with it and you want to end this particular relationship. So it seems like, uh, you know, even whatever this person's offering you, you're not really prepared to even consider it. Uh, he's giving her this blue rose and she's really not interested at all. So it seems like you've completely lost interest in that particular relationship. Now, what's happening with you? It looks like, you know, you want a new cup. You want a new offer and maybe something is coming in for you. You're going to be socializing quite a bit and it looks like there's some kind of offer that comes in for you. You've got the 10 uh, here, which is the Wheel of Fortune. It seems like that relationship has now ended. Uh, that cycle that you were going through with this particular person has now come to an end. Uh, and it looks like big changes are coming in for you here with that uh uh, wheel of fortune and this is just denoting that you know whatever that cycle was that initial cycle that you went through is now finished it's complete it's karmically complete because it is a major arcana card now you've got this uh, queen of swords over here so you are feeling very isolated very depressed you've gone through a lot of problems there's been a lot of tower moments a lot of problems you could have even been dealing with some kind of legal separation as well because you know the ten of swords is always talks about legal issues that you are facing uh, but it seems like you're feeling very hurt very betrayed uh, and you're isolating yourself from everybody else so you're spending a lot of time by yourself and you've been through a lot this woman's got her hand cut on this particular sword and um it seems like you know this is really uh caused a lot of a deep hurt for you it seems like you may have even broken off communication the sword is lying on the floor there now it looks like you might be interested in somebody else so whatever that relationship was it seems like you ended it or you you know you've decided uh that's you've had enough of it and you have interest in somebody else so you've ended a difficult cycle with this ten of cups and it looks like you might have your eyes set on somebody else who is much more um you know humanitarian if you like oh this person likes animals quite a bit you can see there's a lot of cats over here they're very artistic you're watching them from a distance you haven't revealed your intentions or haven't revealed how you feel about them yet but you are giving it uh some thought so you've ended a cycle of emotional distress with this uh you know queen of swords having gone through separation or divorce really and the ten of cups is the end of difficult cycles uh but also the end of old relationships and maybe you're thinking of starting a brand new relationship over here it looks like you might be going out quite a bit and meeting a lot of people with this page of cups 
and maybe an offer is coming in for you there. Now you've got uh, the Hierophant over here, so getting advice from somebody uh, who is, uh, you know, uh, something you can trust, something that you're confident that, you know, it, it's in your best interest, it seems to be on your mind. Also your value system is changing as well. Your ideas about commitment have, uh, you know, maybe you've changed them completely. The Hierophant is the card about commitment, it's a card of traditional views, or maybe your traditional ideas have changed. If you've gone through a divorce, then definitely the idea of getting married and having that traditional family seems to have changed for you here with the Hierophant. And you're reconsidering things. You might be doing a lot of spiritual research, um, you know, you might be thinking about what is going on and, uh, you know, re- um, reassessing all your values here that seems to be on your mind now you're going to make up a new beginning you've got the fool so you're starting off afresh and you're uh, you know something new is coming in for you so this is a new cycle that you're starting off you've ended the old end of that relationship and you're going to start something brand new it doesn't necessarily mean a relationship it just means even being more comfortable with yourself is a new beginning a new start for you and you're going to be, you know, with the judgment card, it's a changing direction. So you've reached that crossroads in your life. You're starting afresh. And it seems like you're going to be focusing on yourself. A lot of people admire you and, you know, you, um, you're somebody who expresses yourself pretty well here. But it looks like you are now going to be focusing on yourself. And whatever you're, you're embarking on is going to be pretty, pretty successful as well. So it looks like there is that, you know, legal issue that you are facing over here with that uh, Knight of uh, Swords. So that is coming in for you. So if it is a legal situation, then a decision has been made and you will hear news of it. This also could have been that, you know, you are still uh, having a little bit of difficulty with that person that you are separating from. Uh, they could still be trying to verbally abuse you or, you know, they're saying nasty things, still trying to control you from a distance over there. So what you want, you want that perfect relationship. With that eight of uh, pentacles here, it's stability, financial stability, somebody you can, you can rely on, you can depend financially on, or you can even depend emotionally. You can see this man is carrying this woman completely, and she's very, very happy, and that is what you are looking for in your life. And, you know, they're walking through water, so you want that emotional connection as well. That's in your hopes and fears. So uh, the final outcome, you've got the Six of Rods, uh, the Eight of Rods, and the Hanged Man over here. So the Six of Rods is uh, maybe getting involved in some kind of relationship that might be more physical than it is, um, you know, a long-term love relationship. You are feeling very trapped. You know, if you, you're getting into a relationship, it might make you feel very trapped uh, because she's got this bird in this cage over here. So getting into something long-term emotionally at this particular moment after just ending a difficult relationship um, might make you feel trapped even though it's a very good relationship uh, it seems like you do want your freedom as well with this and with the eight of rods over here it's also not really being interested in pursuing something long term maybe feeling a bit too tied up in it so if you do get involved in a relationship as much as it is something wonderful and you get along with this person pretty well it might end up making you feel very trapped or very you know um also, there's this feeling that this man is not really interested in what this woman does. So whatever you're pursuing, it seems like you might be pursuing something that is on a higher spiritual level and maybe the person that you're going to be uh, involved with may not be that way inclined. Uh, so, you know, there's this um, feeling of, uh, you know, whatever they have in, in their mind might be very sexual. Uh, maybe you want something higher than that. And maybe that makes that person feel trapped or maybe makes you feel very trapped or very caged in. So altogether, you know, um, even though you pursue this relationship, it might not work out to exactly how you want to. You may start off feeling very, very happy on it, but, you know, you might end up feeling very trapped in it. And then you both might have different ideas about what you want to do, pursuing different pathways in life, and you might end up losing um, interest in each other. So just be aware of that. You need to decide what you want. Um, out of a relationship first before you pursue it and not pursue a relationship just because you don't you know you're feeling lonely uh, that is not a reason for to do it. Uh, it being in a relationship means that you need to spiritually grow with somebody it seems like you are on a spiritual path yourself you have some kind of growth in mind and maybe that person will not be interested in what you uh, you know pursuing the same thing that you are so just be aware that that could well be the case You've got the um, hangman over here. So there might be a lot of sacrifices that you need to make up with it. And this is, again, feeling very trapped and tied up within it. So, you know, pursuing a relationship, even though a next one get, 
um, is coming on offer, if a relationship comes on offer for you, uh, you know, you've got that page of cups with a relationship coming on offer for you, might not be the one that you were waiting for. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you might be thinking of something deeper. This person might not be thinking about something deeper or something long term. And also, whatever they want, or maybe you want something that is just casual and they want something long term and they're very controlling and you feel very trapped. Uh, within that relationship itself. It seems more that way that, you know, if that relationship comes into focus for you, you might end up being the one that is feeling very tied up and is not interested in pursuing something long term because you can see in all three cards, the person is feeling very trapped first in the cage over here and then with this handcuff on their hands and then being trapped completely with that uh, hanged man card. So it might be that, you know, you want your freedom. So if you, um, you know, get into a relationship, really consider it very carefully before jumping into it, uh, whatever relationship comes on offer, because it might be that you just want your freedom for a while before you decide to make any commitments to others. And maybe this is what you're thinking about, commitment issues over here. So making a commitment in the, in the relationship may not be what you want to do just yet. Maybe you do want to travel, maybe you want to see the world a little bit, uh, you know, have your freedom, experience your independence for a while before you actually get into another relationship again. Because the previous relationship seems to have been something that didn't quite go the way you wanted it to go. And, uh, you know, maybe you're, you're, um, you have a, a little bit of cold feet getting into something that's long term. You do want to experience your freedom itself. And even with that full card, it's about freedom, you know, getting on that open road and doing your, the thing your way. Even with the judgment card, it's doing things your way now. So maybe you're tired of being controlled and you want people uh, to give you that freedom or you want that freedom and independence. So you've got the King of Raphael over here, which says, yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative instincts. Now, the Queen, King of Raphael is the King of Cups. So it looks like there is an offer going to come in, a very emotional person as well. It could be a water sign person. So Cancer Scorpio or Pisces person making that offer to you. Um, and, you know, they are pretty uh, reliable and, you know, they are pretty trustworthy. You can actually uh, depend on them. But maybe, you know, they are a bit ov overly... Um, controlling it could be that they're emotionally controlling so maybe this is what you don't want right now you are taking a leap of faith that is the full card over here so believe in yourself listen to your heart and do uh what gives you joy so it looks like the fool has appeared twice you are making a fresh brand new start and it seems like you're cutting all the ties with the past and maybe you know you do want to travel and explore the world really it seems like you do want your freedom then you've got the Queen of Ariel, so nurture yourself and love those around you. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. So the Queen of Ariel uh, is the Queen of Pentacles. So you want your financial independence, you want your independence. So you want to be a self-made person and you want to be in control of that particular situation. So that's where you're taking uh, that leap of faith. You're, you, you want your independence and it seems like you might even be thinking of just, um, you know, just having something casual for a while before you uh, establish uh, you know, a long-term relationship, just so that you can enjoy your independence for a while. It seems like that's where you're going. You are really think, rethinking your ideas and values, but there is this offer coming in for you, and it could be a water sign, like I said, uh, but maybe that relationship is going to end up making you feel very trapped, uh, and what you are aiming for is for your freedom. Sagittarius loves freedom, so, uh, you know, it's it seems like maybe this person uh, might be a bit too much for you to handle, uh, you know, they might be a bit too controlling emotionally. Um, so, you know, make it clear from the onset as to what you want out of this relationship. Uh, don't be afraid to speak your truth and don't be afraid to uh, be alone and experience your independence. Uh, you know, we always find ourselves when we're alone and, uh, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> so I hope that this re uh, reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.